My name is Fran Santolini. I'm a President and Chief Operating Officer of LetterTech. LetterTech is a solid-state LiDAR company. In fact, you can think of us as a software company that develops hardware as a vehicle to develop uh, you know, uh, high-performance, low-cost, automotive-grade LiDAR solutions. As a matter of fact, we had a very, very short window to deliver a demo for CES uh, this past year. And Arthurgon, uh, we gave them a mandate to develop five PCBs on the very, very short time frame. So, uh, which was um, uh, very interesting because we didn't think uh, at that time that we could pull it off together. But in a very short time frame, they were able to not only uh, work with us on specifying exactly what was needed, but also on uh, developing the, the, the PCBs, delivering on time, at, uh, solve the noise problems with the power supply. Um, in the end result, we were able to showcase our, our LiDAR, salt state LiDAR solutions, the LCA2 and LCA3 solutions at CES. And coincidentally, we won an award for that. At CES, we were nominated for innovative solution uh, category in the LiDAR space, but we were also nominated as innovative tech company. Um, so this was pretty good because in our category, we had one of our competitors, Innoviz, from, uh, from Israel that was in that category. Uh, why we were successful um, is we were the first company to deliver an automotive grade system on a chip solution for LiDAR, um, and, and especially for solid state LiDAR. And so that was never done before, and we, we pulled it off. At the same token, we were able to deliver two uh, solid state LiDAR modules, one based on our LC2 uh, chipsets and one based on our LC3 chipset. And both of them delivered unique performances in terms of range and in terms of resolution. So, and, and you know, Orthogon was actually played a, a really important part because the, the digital part, as well as the PCB, was, uh, was coming from the development that they did for us. Um, and so, in some way, they also won an award. As a team, we felt that we needed some, uh, a, some support from a, an experienced group of designers who are experienced at delivering under tight, tight schedules, really, really tight deadlines. And so the experience was quite positive, exactly what I expected. Orthogon has great groups of designers, but also project management. They know uh, that we, have, we had to deliver under a tight budget, but also tight schedule. And, and really, they, their approach was identifying the major uh, roadblocks, identifying the major issues that could hurt us, and then spend more time on those issues. And I think, uh, in the end, the result speaks for itself. This uh, electronics board um, is, uh, was very, very complex. Uh, it's high-speed analog, high-speed digital, uh, and so really, really complex mix signal. Um, you know, what we do is, is we process lots of signals in, per second. In fact, you know, this is, um, uh, in terms of complexity, if you think about it, we process uh, 1.3 giga samples per second, 6,400 waveforms per second. So really, really high speed, high performance analog. And so not very many companies can deliver these types of, of designs. And so the complexity was not only being able to do it in short time, but also address the power requirements uh, as well. The Orthogon's experience in project management played a, a big difference. I mean, it's, it's one thing having the skills to deliver a, a tough uh, a, a design, but project management, working integrated and being seamless between, sim having seamless communications between our teams and timely interventions uh, made a difference.